contemplate your decision, the statements have gone out, are you content with your call to retire from international rugby? Uh, yeah, 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 you know, I yeah, thought long and hard, uh, you know, after getting back from the World Cup, you know, chatted with, uh, you know, my my fiance and, and family and, um, uh, yeah, came to the decision um, that, yeah, with retire from international rugby, yeah, the chat with Gats and, um, yeah, you, you know, it just feels like the the time now is, is right, you know, after a World Cup cycle, um, you know, it just feels like now's the the right time and um, yeah, just have a a feeling of just yeah, huge gratitude really to the for the opportunities that I've I've had to to uh, to wear the jersey uh, over the last fifteen years and um, yeah, it's been been an absolute privilege to 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 put on the Welsh shirt and um, yeah, just look back with such uh, you know incredible memories with with uh, such special people. Um, yeah, and this, yeah, it's been a, an absolute privilege. You mentioned memories there, so many of them, I'm sure. Pick up stand out, stand out games, your moments. Yeah. It's huge from. Um, yeah, I guess, you, you know, there's there's the winning the Grand Slam uh, at home in, in Cardiff against France in 2012. And then, uh, you know, go in and, uh, yeah, defending our title in 2013 and and winning as champions and uh, beating England uh, at at home, you know, it was a yeah, we're riding on on that game, you know, we're having to to win, I think, by seven points and uh, yeah, just the performance we put in that day and I just remember the the atmosphere was just the best I've ever felt there in in, in the stadium. The, the roof was shut and it was just so so loud on the on the field and. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty special one to to go and you know retain our title. Um, yeah, so yeah, plenty of incredible memories with with like I said, such such, such special people. You referenced Warren Gatland in your previous answer. I mean, he's been a huge part of your career with the Lions and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, you know, just, just give us your thoughts on him and what he's done to you as a player as well. Uh, yeah, just yeah, just a massive thank you to to him for. You know all the opportunities that he's he's given me, like you said, with with Wills and and the Lions. Um, hugely grateful to him and and all the the coaching staff. Uh, you know that that have given me the opportunity and um, yeah, you, you know, he gave me the, my my first cap against South Africa uh, all those years ago. And um, yeah, it's pretty special to to be running out uh, for for one last time uh, under him and. Um, yeah, you know, just the, just with the, the players I've had the privilege to to play alongside as well, and and have such incredible memories with them, and um, yeah, you know, yeah, really excited for for Saturday, and uh, yeah, got a, got a few, got a few friends and, and family coming, coming along for it, um, uh, but yeah, like I say, you know, it's yeah, incredibly grateful for for the opportunities he's given me, and. Um, yeah, looking forward to to going on one last time. And you actually describe you as the best defensive fullback in the world. I mean, high praise indeed. What do you make of that? Um, yeah, well, I guess you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I wouldn't have been able to to do that to, without um, you know the the players I've played alongside and um, and and the coaches, you know, that have that have. That have taught me, you know, and, and brought the, I guess, brought, brought the best out of me. Um, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I speak about Sean Edwards um, early on in my, my career, um, you know, taught me a huge amount in, in, in D and obviously Mike Forshaw now, uh, you know, Neil Jenkins, who's been uh, just, you know, working with him since since the age of 16, um, you know, and, and just, yeah, everything he's done for me, everything he's taught me, you know, he's, in terms of my kicking game and, and things, um, you know, and, and defensively uh, in the backfield um, has been has been massive for me and I owe a lot to him for, for everything that he's he's done for for me in, in my career and, and, yeah, you know, that's to name a few, uh, you know, but every, you know, all the coaches that have, 
that I've worked with um, have been massive in t- for me in terms of um, you know improving me as a as a player, and I'm hugely grateful to all of them that have that have helped me uh, along my my career. From Neil Jenkins specifically, I mean, like you say, you worked with him for a long time. Went into coaching. Have you ever spoken about that with him? Is that something you could potentially follow in the future? Um, like I, yeah, it's, you know, it's something that I would like to to do in the in the future. Um, you know, still uh, still want to carry on playing. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly, you know, um, yeah, I'm sure once I do hang up uh, the boots, I'll uh, be on a chat with with him and uh, yeah, just pick up any kind of tips from him. You know, he's been been incredible for me and learnt. Uh, a huge amount for, from him, you know, he's one of the best in the world um, and to, to learn from him has, has been, yeah, pretty special and like I said, he was really grateful to him for everything that he's, um, that he's uh, helped me with throughout my, my career, you know, a lot of what I've achieved is, is uh, in terms of the kicking and, and things is, is all down to him and um, yeah, it's been pretty special to, to work with him. Any reference there, the you still want to carry on playing and your statement you tease a lot of fans saying you're going to be sorting out the club future very, very soon. Is that all done and dusted and when can we potentially expect an announcement on that? Uh, yeah, so that's all it's all done there and then uh, yeah, looking to for that to be yeah, announced uh, next next week and yeah, uh, yeah, I can't say at the moment too much on that, but uh, like I said it, it uh, Going to carry on, continue playing, and um, yeah, that'll be be announced uh, next week. And just lastly, from me, Lee, one last dance at the stadium on Saturday. You yeah. know, Alwyn Jones as well, Justin Timbridge, yeah. legends, players that you've played yeah. alongside for a number of years. How nice is that going to be to share that moment, not just with your family, but yeah. with them as well? Yeah, you know, it's going to be a huge honour to to run out alongside those guys. I'll be they'll be on the the opposite team, but. A huge honour to to share the field with them again. You know, both uh, greats of the game, absolute Welsh legends. Um, you know what they've they've done for for the game and Welsh rugby on the whole is uh, yeah incredible. And um, yeah, looking forward to to running out with them and, and sharing the field with them and uh, yeah catching up with them uh, after the game. It'd be pretty special. Thank you. Thank you. Matt. Lee, I spent a bit of time. Signing on Friday, and they told me right. there's a couple of buses coming up for this game. What does that rugby club mean to you? Uh, uh, it's uh, the rugby signings. Rugby club's got a special place in my, my heart. You know, it's uh, it's where it all, it all started for me, um, and uh, yeah, I, I owe a lot to them for for everything I've achieved. You know, it's. it's um, yeah, they've been been incredible, you know, in terms of coming through the grassroots system with them, and um, absolutely love my time playing playing with them, and you know my, my mates, you know, they're still good, all good good mates with uh, uh, from from when I played with them, and yeah, the the support they've they've given me throughout my career has been been incredible, you know, uh, for my first cap, there's uh, yeah, a good couple of buses came up, and yeah, apparently it's going to be the Similar again this weekend, and um, yeah, so it's a, a special club in my heart, and um, yeah, yeah, I owe a lot, a lot to them. And the clarity of the emotion has been for you this week. You, you've been in this camp for 15 years, yeah. pretty much. This is the last week. Yeah. Emotionally, is that tough to deal with? Um, I just, uh, just trying to enjoy every every moment. Um, you know, just every time I'm down the field or in the gym or, you know, just being around the boys, you know, just, just really trying to just take it all in and and enjoy uh, every moment. Um, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it'll be sad when it, it all finishes, you know, it's been, yeah, like I said, just a huge privilege to to have um, had the opportunity to, to represent my country the last 15 years. It's, it's meant everything to me. Um, and... Um, yeah, it's gonna yeah be a pretty pretty emotional one on on Saturday. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, I just I just look back with just such fond memories with with the, the players that I've you know had the opportunity to play alongside have been incredible and um, 
and yeah, you know the the, the fans as well have been been unbelievable. You know the support they show me throughout my career, and um, yeah, yeah, they've they've been uh, been amazing. And um, like I said, yeah, it's been also on on Saturday. Like, okay. Now, Finn. How important has family been to this whole? experience of goal kicking with your grandfather through yeah. having your children with you in France. Yeah. Uh oh, they've they've been you know, they've been just uh everything to me, you know, like like I said, you know, my my granddad uh yeah, picked me up from school, um, taking me down the field, you know, and he was massive for me, you know, in terms of just practicing and just constantly encouraging me. Um to, to get to get out and and do the work, um, you know. Early on, we look back with so many fond memories of, of us, you know. Um, yeah, just being out there for hours, you know. Never wanted to get off the field, and he'd be there kicking the balls back, and yeah, to the point where it'd be pitch black, and you know, couldn't really see the <laughs> the post, but we'd still be out there, and uh, um, yeah, you, you know, he, he never forced me. He just kept encouraging me to. To keep getting out and, and doing the work, um, you know, up until the point where where I worked with, uh, you know, Neil Jenkins for the academy system, then from from sixteen, and uh, and then yeah, just my family, you know, my my mum and dad have been incredibly special, you know, just picking me up from school, taking me to training, taking me to games, you know, it could be all across the the country, and they they were always there too. To, to take me to to games and, and things and constantly supporting me throughout um, and then yeah you, you know my just my whole family in general have been been amazing supporting me and yeah my my partner Jess and the girls um, yeah you, you know it's been amazing since 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 having the two girls and Jess has been uh, just yeah just she supported me throughout, you know, the the ups and downs. Um, it's been some tough times, you know, um, with injury and things. Uh, at times where, yeah, you just you don't know whether you're going to get back on the field, and she's been there throughout. Um, yeah, just kept kept encouraging me, kept kept me strong, kept me staying positive to to just keep going and. Um, yeah, that that Georgia game. You know, the result wasn't what we went to that day, but um, a big motivator for me that through that injury was, um, you know, getting my two girls to see me see me play, and uh, yeah, to have them both there and and the rest of the game. You know, after the injury was um, yeah, pretty pretty special. You know, obviously. Not the result we wanted, but on a personal note, it was a pretty special day, that one. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, from from there, she's, well, throughout, you know, she's just been be massive for me. Um, yeah, and, yeah, I'm not sure if I might have got back without her. She's just been my rock throughout, and, um, yeah, hugely grateful for to her and for all the support she's, she's given me as well. <coughs> Player you saw in a Wales jersey, the one that made you wanna put on the red jersey. I mean, how special yeah. was it then working with Jack yeah. from the age of sixteen all the way through to now? Yeah. Um yeah, I watched Jenks growing up, you know. Um he he was an idol for, for me, you know, watching him play and 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 you know, kick for Wales and uh yeah, that's he he made me want to pull, you know uh Watching him, just just wanted to, to be like him, you know, and um, to be to be kicking for wheels and you know down the field, you know, just just putting in the practice, wanting to uh, yeah, that was the dream as a as a kid was to play for to play for wheels and kick for wheels and yeah, I'll be honest, I was pretty starstruck when I I remember meeting up with him in uh, St Helens uh, at the age of sixteen and. Um, yeah, he was. Yeah, he's been 
yeah, he's been in, in, incredible for me. Uh, you know, learnt so much for, from him. Um, you know, not just just goal kicking, but uh, you know, just the the, the work uh, that you need to put in. And um, you know, he's supported me th throughout, and he's been huge for me in in terms of you know what, what I've been able to to achieve um, and. Um, yeah, it's been pretty special to to work with him. <clears throat> okay, we've got time for a couple more, so we'll do Alex and then Rob. Hi, Lee. Just been you all in the fullback jersey for quite a long time now. Yeah. Um, who are some of the guys that you think are coming through that could maybe succeed you because you both obviously moving on to different? Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you know, obviously you've got uh, Liam was a world class. Uh, full back and yeah, it's been just been incredible for for Wales, um, you know. And um, yeah, he's a uh, yeah, it's been a battle. He's, he's you know we're, we're good mates and um, you know it's been uh, yeah a pleasure to 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 play uh, you know alongside him and and uh, yeah you know it's. Yeah, he's, uh, he's like I say, he's a good friend, and um, yeah, obviously we've had that competition, but it's it's never we really got in the way of our, our our friendship and and things, and yeah, he's he's been unbelievable. Um, and then obviously you've got uh, Josh Adams and uh, Louis Samet, who's who've played there, um, and uh, when they have, they they've done an incredible job uh, for Wales there. Um, and yeah, yeah, you know, two two outstanding players uh, there as well. And um, yeah, it's looking, uh, you know, younger then. You've obviously got Tom Rogers. Um, uh, Tom Rogers, you got Jacob Beetham at, at Cardiff. Um, he, you know, he few good things at him. Uh, Tom Rogers is good. You know, he's exciting talent. Um, you know, he's, I'm sure he's got. A, Bright future ahead of him, um, and then yeah, worked with uh, the likes of uh, Cam Winnett at Cardiff and Justin Hopkins at uh, the Ospreys. Worked worked with them uh, in, with the under twenties. Um, two two really exciting players there. Um, so yeah, you know the, the 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 future's bright. You know there's a lot of talent coming coming through in that position and. Um, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's it's really it's really exciting for for them guys, um, you know, and uh, yeah, just look forward to supporting them and, and you know the the team uh, uh, from from the stands. But yeah, really excited to see see uh, uh, the future of Wales. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're going to carry on playing, which is great news. One year, two years, three years. Have you have you got any idea how much longer? You you want to go on for, or you can go on for? Um, yeah, well, I, yeah, I'd like to um, carry on playing for for another couple of seasons if I if I can. Um, yeah, I could probably yeah probably share that yes, yeah, is you know I'm contract for another 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 season, um, and then we'll we kind of see what what happens after. After that, really, um, we know all about your kicking, and you know we've seen all the points you've scored. But the one moment that stands out in my mind is that tackle on Dave Strattle in the right. Triple Crown game at Twickenham. I mean, yeah. that probably to me epitomises you in, in terms of the skill to get across and the bravery you showed there. And um, it must have been out of an empty head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was feeling it the next day. I'll be, I'll be honest, but yeah, you know it. One well, just me is the the players around me uh, that uh, that helped uh, you know save that try. John Davis getting under that ball and and uh, and saving that try. I think I just acted more of a speed bump, uh, I guess, uh, to slow him slow him down. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, it's just just your yeah, it's just your yeah, your role, your yeah, your your job, and you just try and always go out and uh, and deliver. Um, as best you can for, so you for the team. So you talked about 2012, you know, the 
Grand Slam season and 2013. But where does that Lions victory and the, you know that record points you scored in the, uh, the third Test eclipse it? Yeah. Uh, right. I mean, you were probably at your best then, weren't you? Um. Well, I look back, yeah, on that 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 season with with real fond memories, you know, just uh, yeah, feel incredibly lucky to have been part of such you know incredible squads, you know, with with Wales uh, and and the Lions, um, you know, to you know to to go and be selected to represent the Lions was. Uh, incredibly special and um yeah that group was 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 incredible you know players staff everyone was was it was just a special group of people that that tour and yeah it was a yeah an amazing tour um yeah one that that's that's right up there uh you know it was yeah just that yeah to go to go down to australia and and, and win the series there um yeah, with it being one all, and you know, the third test being the decider. Yeah, it was um, yeah, just an unbelievable game, and um, yeah, the way we, we did it was was pretty special uh, as well. You know, and uh, there's not often moments in games, you know, especially that level where you can kind of look around and take it all in. But you know, it, uh, yeah, I was able just to kind of. You know, take a take a second just to to have a look around and just see the you know the the sea of red there and um, you know just the all the the songs going in in the stadium yeah it was um and it was special and um, yeah like I said that that group of people um, uh, yeah players and staff were were, were amazing I feel yeah hugely grateful to to have had the opportunity to well thank you for the last fifteen years Lee. Great following your career. We've all seen some great players in our time because you're right up there, fella. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, everyone. <clears throat>